Hello, my sweet babies. How's everyone doing today? I guess I'm doing all right. I don't know. I had a little spurt of energy, so I said, let me get out here and do something. But let me tell y'all what I did. I took this trinket. Trivet. Trivet. It's what you set your hot pots on in the kitchen. Okay? And I, I had some uh, leftover resin from this flower pot that I made. My school flower pot. So I just poured it over the top of it. It went down in there. Let me show y'all. <laughs> this center. Look at this. Look at that. Oh my goodness, is that not pretty? Then, around all these, I just took out separate. I left this together. Look at that. Look at that baby doll. So, y'all know, my brain started clicking and clacking. Okay, and then I said, what about putting resin in it, but putting this window film on the back of it? <gasps> Look at that. Wouldn't that make, but you know what? You could, um, like, tape the window film on the back of it, and when you demold it, you would have a cut around your edges, of course. You would have a, um, what you call it? You hang outside? Y'all know what I'm talking about. I can't think today. I had I started this video earlier, and my one of my neighbors pulled up and brought me some fresh eggs, so... Get, and my phone rang and the video was going. And I said, oh my goodness. So I just started all over. So anyway, I'm thinking about putting this window film on the back. Like this. Just put this down. And lay this on top of it. Or, and just tape it to it. That's what I'm thinking. That's my thoughts. I thought that'd be beautiful. But I'm going to get my resin mixed up. Now, I'm just going to be putting clear resin in this. Well, maybe a little bit of Mylar Flakes. So, uh, it'll have a little sparkle. And then the sun can shine through it. Sun catcher. There. There. See, the brain popped in. All right. And then, or I can just cut them out single like I did these. And this, this would be gorgeous in a uh, coaster. Would it not? Wouldn't that be beautiful in a coaster? My goodness. So, let me tell you about this now. I got plans for these little thank you dames here. Okay? Les Resin sent me a mold. Now, y'all ain't gonna believe what it is. It is a paper towel holder. Honey, 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 honey. I had to open it and look at it. So, now it's big. Look how, look how deep. That's deep. Okay? Thank you, Les Resin. Oh, oh, I'm excited. Now, this is the other side. This is where your paper towel sits. And let me tell you this. I think you can put a roll of toilet paper on here if you want it. Use it for a, a toilet paper holder in your bathroom. What are you talking about, Wanda? That's what I'm talking about, y'all. Alright, now, it says... And on the mold, that's what I love about Les Resin's uh, molds. It has how much ounces it takes to fill the mold. Now, you may not be able to see that. 12.6 fluid ounce. That's what I love about it. Now, on these directions here, it says resin filling volume 12.6 fluid ounce. Recommended mixing volume 14 fluid ounce. So we're going to mix up 14 fluid ounces, okay? And um, when we do this. Now, what I'm thinking about is I'm going to, after I demold this, now I'm going to make it white. I, I want it white, I do believe. And then I'm thinking about putting these all the way around the mold. Now, there's different sizes. So you can go up like that. You can put the little skinny right there. What do y'all think? Spread them out if you want. Honey, we're going to decorate this doggone thing. Look at this. Put your flower on there. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm getting excited. Can y'all tell? I need a little skinny. But anyway, y'all get y'all get the GIF, don't you? Y'all get the GIF what I want to do. And this is going to go in my kitchen. 
and we're gonna make a little flower petal flower petal on it I'm gonna make a paper towel holder and then I'm gonna make a toilet paper holder now let me show y'all this I got this stencil it's a mandala stencil and I have dotting tools I'm thinking about now this is another idea I thought about I thought about I could do this in white and then just use honey I know I'm all over the place I know what let me get it out so I can show y'all what, what I'm thinking about it. Then, I could, is that not gorgeous? I thought it was just beautiful. Then I could take my um, stencil and just put along the bottom and just wrap it around the bottom of the mold and just make a design on the doggone paper towel holder. Honey, honey, I don't know why I'm just getting at it. But we'll figure that out when we get the uh, paper towel, when we get to the paper towel uh, holder. Okay, let me get this back in this bag. Because I don't want it to get no stuff. I don't want any resin on it. Try not loud, Wanda. All right. Okay, so, anyway. Then my thoughts was, this has to be filled, but the resin can flow through there. I can fill this up and just come up, you know, a little bit up here and then put my little flower in. Now you can flip it over and put my little flower in there. Oh, mighty gosh almighty. Can y'all believe it? Anyway, and but, but we're going to see. I done got so excited, but look at that. Ain't that gorgeous? All right, now, move this out of the way. Now, this, this, we got to do first. Now, I got to figure out a way. Now, this right here sticks to the silicone, but this does not stick to that. Ain't that weird? It's weird, ain't it? So, um, uh, I'm just going to figure out a way to make it stick. Okay, so I'm going to figure it out, and I will be back. All right, darlings. I got my resin mixed up. Okay, now, my thought is I'm going to put some clear resin. I'm using less resin fast cure, okay? Now, I mixed up 16 ounces of resin because, and I know it's not going to take that much, but if it don't, Hey, let's take this out, and we'll have this ready to pour some in. And I did this on my last video, remember, when I did my skull pot, and it wasn't ready, so. I didn't want to break off none of my little nibbies. And this thing here is hard to get out. But, there it is. Oh, look how pretty that is. Oh, that's gorgeous. Now we have a little mold if we got some left over. And my little shell mold. And I got some more little molds laying around. In case I need it. Now then, we're going to pour some Mylar Flakes in this in this uh, little thing. I'm going to hold it over here because I don't want it to get on my uh, sherbet. So, I'm just going to put some in this little cup. And then I'm going to add some resin to the cup. Give it a little stir around. And we're going to pour it in here. Now, I did put my trivet on a board. That way I can move it out of the way and we can do the paper towel slash toilet paper holder. Okay. All right. Let's get a little bit of this in. Now, I broke my cup so it would fit. You know, these has a handle on it. I broke it off so it would fit in my debugging machine. Now, let's get some in here. I know I'm not going to need much. Yeah, make a mess. Great. But anyway. It is what it is, ain't it? Alright. Let's get it mixed up real good. Now, I may pause y'all and take my heat gun. And I'll give it a little heat. Because it is thick. So, let me do that right quick. It's kind of, it's cold today. It's supposed to be 38 in the morning. Guys, I'll tell you. Honey, honey, I'll tell you what. Let me get me a little dipper. Let me heat this up. I'll be right back. Okay. Hold on, darlings. All right, babies. 
got it all mixed up. Now we're just going to pour it in our trivet. Now I guess being a little thick would probably work best. That way it won't run all out. But we're going to see what it does. Ain't we? Let me get my... Look at there. <laughs> oh, God. I have to take uh, one of my fingers out to pause the video. I forgot to put it back in. Now right, let's see what we got. What we're going to get. What are we going to get? All right, darlings, we got that. Let me get the thing back on. My glove. Got that. And I think I got all the little bubbles. I used a lot of heat. That I did. Now I'm going to give it a little spready. Just to make sure. Now I'm going to move it out of our way. I'm going to leave that stick on it because it ain't bothering nothing. Now I'm going to slide this whole tray right over here. All right, now, we're going to get our mold. Oh, I need a, what am I doing? I need a mat. Here's one. Here's one. There we go. Now then. Now then, I'm going to take the rest of my resin, and I'm going to add some Satori White by Eye Candy. And it is a pigment paste, okay? It's paste. All right, now let me find my little tool. Here we go. Now, I always give it a stir. Now, this is kind of cold, but it never gets to where you have to heat it. it. Never does. See, look how runny. That's what I like about their pigment paste. All right, darlings, I'm sorry. I had to pause. <sighs> my son in law coming to get the kids and, and just gone. He brought me. Let me get the glue back on. All right, now here we go. Eye candy paste. I'm just going to wipe the bottom off, but I want it opaque, so I'm going to leave me a good dibble on the, on the end there. And since the resin's a little bit warm, it should mix right on in there, y'all think? I think so. Look at that pretty white. Look at that, guys. That's pretty, is it not? Mm-hmm. I love eye candy pigment paste. Love it. All right. I think it's all good and mixed in. So let's just see if I use too much on my trivet. Let me wipe my little sticky. The fun part is going to be when we demold it. And that's going to be four hours from now. But it'll probably be in the morning, babies. Because, look at there, something in there. Because, uh. It's already 6 o'clock, I think. 6.30. So let's just get her. All right, we're going to. And I'm sorry I didn't have the live Thursday babies. I felt like poop toot. I, well, I didn't feel bad. I just didn't have any energy, honey. All right, I'm going to pour in this hole first. That way I can give it a little squishy. Perfect. I can't believe something worked. All right, I'm gonna give it a little tappy around. Let's look squish around. A little, little of this and a little of that, because we don't want any bubbles down in these little thingies. Okay, so I'm just gonna mash. Now then, that ought to do. That ought to do. It's gonna be mine anyway. All right. Now, it may not take long because I got my heater on in my art shed, so it shouldn't take long. And the resin's warm already. Let me give it a little spritty. A little spritty spread. And that ought to do, babies, and I'll see y'all. I almost said on the next video. <laughs> I'll see y'all. Um... When it's all good and hard and cured.
All right, babies. Let's see if we can get this monster out. I'm going to turn it upside down and try to roll it. Now, this one, I want my thoughts all back to us. Now, I'm standing up just in case, you know, I have to have a little bit more muscle. Because we got this little weird thing here. So, maybe get this side off first. Maybe. Roll this back first. Is that ready? <gasps> I don't know. Well, it's too late now, ain't it? I'm going to have to shape it back, I guess. Alright, let's get this part. Hmm, come on, baby. There we go. Yeah. Oh, my goodness, it's not... <gasps> Well, hold on. Okay. Come on. Okay. Now we got that. Now I deformed it a little bit. Oh my goodness. Now what about this metal here? Oh, honey. What about that? There's no way to get... Oh my goodness. There's no way to get any alcohol down in there. Oh, here it comes. Maybe. No, I don't think it's coming. Holy. Honey, ain't no telling what we might have, but I get this out. <laughs> but I wanted to show y'all the struggle. You know, I could have paused it and just popped it out. But, honey, mm, that ain't going to show y'all nothing, is it? <laughs> Making it look easy. Let go. Y'all look at it. Oh my goodness. Okay, here it comes. So, mm, oh my goodness gracious. Let me form it back. Oh jeez. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make it again. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make it again. But anyway, there's there's the gif of it. Give it a little rubbing. Maybe it'll be alright. Okay. Now, let's see about getting this monster back. Whew. I'm going to make another one. Mm. And I'm going to make a toilet paper. A toilet paper one. Oh my goodness gracious. Alright, there we go. I push it back down in there. Oh. Honey. Get on back down in there. There you go now. There you go. Woo! All right. Anyways. Anyway, there she is. Oh, look. I don't know what that is. Oh, look. Y'all know what I think that is? I think that's my fingernail polish. <laughs> oh, let me spark some alcohol and form this thing. Spray alcohol on your hands, and the resin won't stick to it. And just form it back. How it's supposed to be, you see. But you gotta keep alcohol on your hands, because if you don't, that resin's gonna stick to it. Okay? And there you go. There she is. She's a little wobbly. She's a little wobbly. But nothing's perfect, is it? There. Now, I'm good with that. Now let me get me some spray on the paper towel because this paint was coming off if I don't quit touching that top. It was coming off. Look at that. It was fingernail polish. What not to do, huh? What not to do? Okay. Now then, there we are. All right, now. We have our little deformed poor little paper towel holder. It's not the mole's fault. It's mine. Now, let me show you how it looks. Oh, I can get my roll of paper towel. Here we go. There you are. Look at that. Now, I think, and then it pulls out right here, you see. And then you just pull your paper towel off. Look at that. But I think I'm going to make mine a toilet paper holder. Now then, I want to show y'all what I made with this little mold here. 
Now, I was thinking about putting this around the edge. Look at that. Now, is that not gorgeous? It would look like it has its own little holder, does it not? I think it's beautiful. Look at that. So I'm gonna make one more. All right, babies, made another one. Now all I did was put UV resin in it. Took the spatula and just mashed it down like that, okay? Put in that amazing double-sided UV resin uh, lamp. And I made me another one, okay? Now then, look, I flipped this over. Since impatient me couldn't wait to demold it, you know, it's still a little sticky up here top. So I figured I'd just fold it over the top. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put this one, we're going to put this one right by this one, okay? Just like that. Now if you don't want this seam, put you some a strip of diamonds down through there. Oh, honey, baby, wouldn't that be pretty? And if yours is all the way cured, get you some uh, E8000 and glue it down. Now, I may have to do this one because uh, it's cured or cured or is that a word? Anyway, so here we go now. We got that. Okay, now I'm going to trim around this opening. And I'm going to go ahead and trim around this one. So it's going to take three of these. It's going to take three of them to have enough to go around. Okay. So now I'm going to take my little snippers here. And very carefully, hopefully don't cut the resin. Just going to start snipping. Oh, snap. Okay. Oh, I'm nervous. I just hope it don't snip off too much. Lay down, baby now. We're trying to cut you and make you look good. Okay? Just keep your little tail still. Now, I do want to go around this little bottom. So, I'm just going to cut right here. Then, I'm going to come on this side. It right there. Well, we're not going to be using that piece, so I'm just going to cut. Hmm. I think I am just going to cut it all the way off, so don't matter where I cut it. Let's just, uh, let's cut. Hmm. Right here, maybe. Okay. There we go. There we go. So far, so good, and it's meeting up, so. Oh, my goodness. Don't, now, didn't that make a difference? Now, since this top is sticky, I'm going to put me a, a few cuts in here, and I'm going to fold this booger down, just like that. Look at that. Fold it down, babies. Mm -hmm. Fold it down. Look at that now. Now you have it coming over the top. Now this right here ain't too sticky, so I'm going to uh, put some T8000 on that. But I just wanted to show you how pretty it looks with this on it. My goodness. This is going to be a long video, but let me get that off. I don't need that. But there you go. Look so far. Is that not beautiful? Now, y'all know what? Y'all can take this and wrap it around your uh, jar molds. Honey, I never thought about it. I never thought about it. Now, I, don't, I know this ain't enough. But, let's just see. Yeah, it's not. Let's turn it this way. And it's enough to reach there. Look at that. That's all I'm missing. You know what? I might just trim it right here. And be done with that. Mash that down. Oh my goodness. Goodness. Now I'm going to trim this. 
All right, darlings, I didn't make another one. I didn't make another one. I had to get off so I could concentrate. So I paused you and I just cut it. Now look at it. Now look at it. Now, what I'm telling you, T8000, baby, will glue this right down. And that's what I'm going to do. But I'm not going to do it on this video. But look at that. What y'all think about my paper towel holder? I think it's beautiful. Now, these seams right here, put you some diamonds up through there, baby. Diamonds, honey. Diamond rabbit. And there you go. Let me know what you think. And I'm sorry this video's so long. And my, um, my, uh, what you call over here, it, it ain't, I don't think it's ready yet. Let's see. Let's see. I figured I'd be out here. My grandma said the calm before the storm, so stay out here as long as I feel like it. <laughs> ain't that right? Because I may not feel like it tomorrow. Let's see what we got. It is ready. I think. I think. Let's just see. All right. Let's see what we got. I'm going to pull the tape off. If it'll come off of this film. Oh, holy mess. Are you kidding? Ow. I think I fused it to the film. <laughs> when I hated it. <laughs> oh, Jack Rabbit. <laughs> we finna get it, though. And we're gonna see what it looks like. See how pretty it is. Uh-oh, it is a little sticky. It's a little sticky. Let me get a paper towel. It's a little sticky. But this top is ready. I can touch it. Get that off. Honey, when do we do old stuff that's uh, cured, huh? Not us. Mm -mm, babe. We go ahead and we do it, don't we? <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. Oh, oh, we might can get it out. I don't know about that middle. That middle's kind of... No. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It ain't ready, babies. So, we'll demold this on another video and see what it looks like. Okay. I'm sorry, honey. I thought it'd be ready. I couldn't put it on the heat mat because of this film. But it won't be long and it'll be ready. It, it's almost ready. I can touch it. I can touch this side. But anyway, look at that. Oh, honey. So I'm going to sit it back over here. And on our next video, we'll pop it out. Okay? Uh-oh, I'm just pulling everything. Pulling everything with it, honey. All right, just sit over there and cure, okay? All right, now then, let's do the blessing board for March and the prayer board, okay? Blessings for March, Miss Stacy May. Continue prayers for Miss Stacy. Honey, I don't know how it happened, and I'm so sorry, Miss Stacy. It bothered me all day today that I did not say her name yesterday when I was calling out the prayers. Well, not yesterday, in the last video. And I'm so sorry, Miss Stacy. Please forgive me, baby. You know I'm ditzy. I'm ditzy. Uh, continue prayers for Miss Stacy. Continue prayers for Miss Christine, Miss Barb, Miss Wyvon Roberts' family. Um... Miss uh, Amy's mama, Miss Joyce, and Miss Tammy Coleman. Now, Miss Marva and Miss Sam are back doing videos, so that's great. That's great, honeys. But continue prayers for them two babies, okay? For Miss Marva's help and uh, for peace and comfort for Miss Sam. All right, darlings. All right, baby dolls. Let's do a, a prayer card. I love it. I love it. I absolutely love it. Now, y'all know I'm going to put me, put me something on these things. You know what I am. All right, let's do this part of your head. Well, it's a Bible verse, okay? It's a Bible verse, but here we go. Oh. All righty. Today's Friday. Take heart and be strong. Have no fear and do not be troubled. For the Lord is, the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Amen. Amen. Ain't that, that, that's great. I needed to hear that. I really needed to hear that. All right.
right, darlings, y'all let me know how you like my video. Now, let me tell you what color, this is what color I use. It's a uh, Marabou. Mar yeah, Marabou, and it's Lagoon. Lagoon. Everything will be in my description. Okay, darlings. All right, baby dolls, let me give you one more look now. That's a little goo goo. Little, little goofy there. But I think that is pretty. I think it's pretty. And I really think it'd be prettier as a paper towel holder now. I got, I mean, a toilet paper holder. I really do in the bathroom. It'd be gorgeous, wouldn't it? And it's got weight. So when you pull it, it's not just going to, your whole thing ain't going to fly out on the floor. It's got 14 ounces of resin in it. Okay. So it ain't going nowhere. All right, my sweet angels. Thank y'all for watching. I love y'all to pieces. Thank y'all for the prayers. I do appreciate it so much. I have another CT scan Monday. Honey babies. I got another one Monday. They found something back there on my back. I, I don't know. It might be why my back hurts all the time. But anyway, going Monday for the CT scan. And my paperwork has been sent in to the cardiologist. So just waiting on them to call with an appointment. And when they do, I'll let y'all know and give y'all an update. And Miss Francis, I almost got your box. I know I say it every time. I know I do. But I think I, I'm, I'm through putting stuff in it. I think I am. So anyway, I love y'all. And y'all have a blessed night. And sleep sweet, my babies. Okay? Peace, love, prayers, and happiness, darlings. Bye. Bam. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I think it's so pretty. Okay, darlings.